Hello, I'm going to go one by one through the features of the Rogue Palomino EA1 and kind of show you all little things I noticed about the engineering and, and the build and how it's all put together. And as I'm doing it, I'm trying to figure some things out along the way, so maybe you can help out. Oh, sorry, little sinky thing didn't put you on right. So let, today let's talk about the dinette bed. So we have our main uh, queen size bed up here and then we have this dinette bed and it is fairly long. I can lay on it, I'll get my shoes on. So with my head touching the top just as a reference um, below and I'm five eight and a half or so, five eight, five nine. Still have about four or five inches to go, the bottom of my shoes. If you uh, sleep facing down, your feet stretch out and it's longer. So just be aware of that. Whoopsie. So this is what I want to talk about today. The fit of these cushions and um, how you convert this over and one little issue I'm having. So if you notice the, the cushions are a little wrinkly here, that's because they want to pop right up to there because uh, they've got a nice tight fit in there. So if I squeeze them down there. Um, they won't move side to side this way. And this one tucks a little bit underneath here, which is nice. Now, the problem I'm having, <coughs> excuse me, is the front edge of this tips down when I sit on it. So, see the bed comes apart? Now you might say, well, you're not laying in the middle of the bed. That's not gonna happen. Well, what about every morning when I get up and need to put my shoes on or I'm put my feet over the edge of the bed to stand up. It's very wobbly here and I'm trying to figure this out. So I'm gonna take this bit apart here and we're gonna look at it together. And I know there's an easy solution for this. So I'm more doing this to see if anyone else has the same issue or not. I'll even take this one out. So we got some carpet here. And this is the piece they give us. Now on this camper, you don't use the table because the table's not big enough. The table isn't big enough to fit in this area. Here's the top of the table here and I'll prove it to you. It just isn't wide enough to go from here to there. And I believe that's because when you have this in and it's twisting, it would simply just be too long to be able to sit or get by. <clears throat> Another thing is, I'm not sure where you're supposed to store this when, when you're not using it. Um, one option is you can slide it in here. Okay, so if I push with one finger right here, you see the back raises up. And now, why would that be? Well, if we pull this off, we have these kind of nice, strong black plastic pieces. But look at, if I look from above, this one here, I believe should be more out here so that when you push forward, you're not tipping like a teeter-totter on that one. Now I know they, they designed the placement of these to match the placement of this little rubber bumper. Because when I put this on, and this is the front by the way, you can't put it on round backwards or upside down. Um, just won't work with those black bumpers. Now when I slide this in and I look underneath, those little bumpers are behind here so that this will not pull out. And that's a good design, but if I move those forward, I'm going to have to move those little black bumpers forward as well to avoid this problem here. So if I have support right under here, I won't be able to twist it and teeter it on there. So that's the size of the bed there, and to get the table back on, a lot of people may not know this, I found it online through someone else, there's a secret little passage, little storage under here, and it even has a lock that you can lock on. And then we're going to take this, put it in here, screw it on. 
Now, you gotta unscrew it sometimes to get it in there before you can really screw it and lock it in. There you go. Then, now I don't have any place to store this. Hey kids, I'm just making a video in here for a minute. Almost done. I don't have any place to store this guy when I put the table on. Nothing convenient and obvious at least, so I'm still trying to figure that out. But luckily we have lots of storage up here in this cabinet. We can slide it right in there and be nice and safe in there. So here's the table on. And then I'm left with my extra cushion here. I could use it as a backrest perhaps. Um, that's a nice use for it. Let's turn it around, although we do get a little backrest, not a very tall one. Or I can put it up there. But now we have our table in place and we can spin this and have plenty of room. And when I'm talking about hidden storage, I'll just mention this briefly. Under here, come on. Ah, you gotta slide it out. This is where your battery and your water tank are, and your pump. Nice spot for it. Would be nice if you could put a porta potty and have it kind of under this and have this lift up. But we've got more important stuff under there. 